seven very simple things you can do in your wardrobe right now that's gonna make your autumn winter outfits look more stylish, more chic, more put together. See, as always, I have my trusty planner with all my notes in. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my secrets and ideas and little hacks for how you can make your knitwear look more stylish, more put together, more chic, more wearable, more flattering, so that you can take a, maybe an old jumper that you've had in your wardrobe for years, but every time you wear it, you feel frumpy. I know that feeling, because I've been there, and it's taken a good few years to work out little tricks, little hacks, that make my outfits feel more put together in winter, in snuggle season, and it coming up to, you know, winter and Christmas time is the perfect time and I thought to film this video for you. I also feel like these videos are the most important videos that I film. These are the ones with so much information in it. These are the videos that you girls need to see when it comes to changes in seasons and choosing new pieces to go into your wardrobe. I have sat and got all of the good nuggets of information out of my head and I'm ready to share them with you. So get yourselves comfy, if you need to get a notepad, get yourself a notepad and let's go through how we can turn knitwear from frumpy to flattering and how you can look stylish, chic and put together. Seven very, very easy to implement ways that you can take a piece of knitwear from your wardrobe today and change it up, make it look more put together, make it more stylish, more chic, more wearable. You do not need to spend any money on new knitwear, you do not need to buy any new pieces. This is a way that you can take things that are in your wardrobe right now and make them more stylish, more flattering and make you look and feel better when you are wearing them those little nuggets of information that I just do without realizing that I do it. And it's only when I get lovely messages on Instagram um, or emails where I'm like, oh, this doesn't come naturally to some people. This just comes naturally to me. I just chuck things together. And I've just learned over the years how to make things stylish and wearable and flattering. And I know maybe that's my little secret weapon that I didn't realize I had. Um, so I'm gonna share them with you today. I also have a bonus hack at the end of the video that I can't wait to share with you, which is one of my favorite things that I like to wear in winter and Christmas time. So stylish. It's one of those outfits that makes people go, oh my God, you look so nice. Stay tuned at the end, very end of the video for my bonus knitwear hack. So let's get straight in to the video and number one. Okay, so number one is layering. If you have a jumper or a piece, a sweater, a knitwear piece, a polar neck, a roll neck, whatever it is, if you have a jumper, chances are you we've all got that jumper in our wardrobe that ends at a funny point of our body that isn't very flattering, that you love it, but every time you put it on, it makes you feel a bit frumpy. It don't, you don't find it very flattering. There is one very, very simple, easy, stylish hack that you can do today that is gonna take that piece of knitwear from unflattering and frumpy to suddenly looking, put together, smart casual, chic, stylish, it's so easy. All you need in your wardrobe is a good quality, long line, white, oversized t-shirt. That is it, I am sure everybody has them. If you haven't, you can pick one up at a very, very good price point. I have linked my favorite one in the description below. All you need to do is put that t-shirt underneath your jumper, your roll neck, your cardigan, whatever it is, and just layer it up. Now, if you are teaming a nice piece of knitwear with a nice skinny jean or a legging, that long line t-shirt is gonna make all the difference. So you're gonna pick a long line t-shirt that ends at a good length for you. So if you are like me, and quite often when you've got um, skinny jeans on or leggings, you kind of wanna cover your bum or your hips, or you just want something at that little length to cover, for example, a camel toe. <laughs> just the area that you maybe don't wanna show as much. A long line t-shirt is just gonna give you that coverage, add an extra little layer, a little bit of depth to your outfit and just make that jumper look more stylish and put together. It is that easy. 
my knitwear hack number two. It is how you are going to wear your piece of knitwear. If you just chuck it on, and maybe it's a little bit small or fits a little bit funny it makes such a difference like even this jumper i am wearing now if i wear it like this it kind of looks a little bit frumpy for me i don't like it like that i like it to look more chucked on so if i slouch it off my shoulder if i had like a nice lacy bra that's showing or a nice piece of jewelry it makes all the difference also i think my number one tip when it comes to knitwear is always size up i'm gonna say it again it is that important always size if you have knitwear and it is oversized, it is gonna look so much more chic. It is gonna look more expensive. I don't see the point of wearing a piece of knitwear if it is gonna fit me properly. I want my jumpers to feel huge and ba baggy and cozy and snuggly. I thought that is what a piece of knitwear is all about, surely? So buy it a size up, buy it two sizes up. I always go like for a large, you know? And usually I'd be like a small. So size up. Get your knitwear big, get it slouchy. Not only is it gonna feel comfy and flattering, it is always gonna be cozy and warm. And then all you need to do is team it with a pair of skinny jeans or a pair of leather leggings and just balance out your figure with a fitted trouser slouch it off the shoulder, show a little bit of kind of collarbone so that it's not just completely making you look two sizes bigger, it looks expensive, it looks more put together, it looks more stylish. Layer it over a bralette, layer it over a shirt, layer it over a t-shirt, layer your knitwear, add some depth to your outfit, it makes all the difference. Tuck your knitwear in. If you have a big baggy jumper like this and you are wearing it with a little skirt or a pair of trousers or jeans, tuck the front in if you can. Let the front tuck in so you can see that shape and then let it hang over your hips, let it hang off your arms and your sleeves. And one of the other important things is just to keep your knitwear neutral. If you have a huge range in your wardrobe of knits in cream, camel, black, gray, they're going to go with everything. In. You can put them with all your jeans, with all your leggings, with your coats. Build a capsule wardrobe that is neutral and goes across those core colours. It means that not only will your knitwears last you year upon year, but you can team them with all of the other things in your wardrobe. Okay, tip number three is plan out your outfit so that you have depth to it, whether it's different textures or layers. If you just wear a plain sweater with a pair of black leggings, it's going to look a little bit boring, very simple. You can make that one sweatshirt and leggings look so much more put together and chic just by adding those things. Add in a long sleeve, white shirt underneath your jumper, popping the collar out around the neckline, popping the cuffs out on the sleeves, teaming it with leggings and socks and trainers and a nice bag and those different you know, materials with, with some leather leggings or some ripped jeans, mix it up. Don't keep your knitwear to simple outfits. Knitwear is simple and basic and stylish enough that you can add those little touches in to show your personality, to show your sense of style, and then just zhuzh up that outfit. That is a plain sweater, add those extra little bits in. Add gold jewelry, add a big necklace, add some big earrings, add some sunglasses, add a hat. You can mix it up. If you keep your knitwear neutral, you can throw these little touches in to add a bit more of your personality to your outfit. So the next thing we're gonna talk about are knitted jumper dresses, whether that is a midi jumper dress or a shorter jumper dress. They can very easily be made to look a little bit frumpy. There are a lot around this season with buttons up, which you're not kind of sure what to lay underneath them and can get it so, so wrong. I'm gonna tell you how you can make them look that little bit more stylish and also stay warmer and get more wear out of them in, into the cold weather too. I think it's just much easier when it comes to a jumper dress to stick to your neutral color palette. That means you're gonna mix it up with lots of kind of black accessories and make it look really kind of stylish and put together very, very easily. 
So stay with like some nice nudes, grey, black, camel. That means that you can easily add in some black accessories just to make it look that little bit more put together and stylish very, very easily. Another way you can easily make a jumper dress just that look that little bit more put together is to belt it in. It's going to make it more flattering. It's going to make it easier to wear. If it's a little bit long and you feel like it's just a little bit shapeless, it's going to give you shape and make your whole outfit look more stylish. If it's something that hasn't already got a roll neck, I'll add in a black roll neck underneath. Then I can just team with some black belt, a black bag, some chunky black boots, and it is away. If it's a little bit warmer, I might team it with some chunky trainers and just make it a little bit more of a street style vibe. That is another way you can easily just make your jumper dress look more stylish. Go for something chunky, add a bit of, add a little bit of contrast in there to your jumper dress and it will just look it, make it look a little bit more stylish. Have your jumper dress as your main um, base for your outfit and then keep any accessories to one colour. So add in some black boots, a black bag and a black belt or add in some brown accessories or even this season there's so many of these like cream boots, khaki boots but just keep everything to one colour and it's just going to make everything look a little bit more put together. If you have chosen a dress that is you know a slouchy dress with some buttons up then undo some buttons, slouch it off your shoulder, make it look a little bit more thrown together it's gonna make your outfit look that little bit more individual and show your personality through your outfit. Number five is how to wear a chunky cardigan. I think a chunky cardigan is one of those outfits that I personally myself, after I had children, I kept reaching for the same kind of outfit because as a mum, you want to be comfy, you want to be practical, you want to be warm, you want to hide maybe some lumps and bumps that you don't like, you want to find something that kind of covers up those areas of your body that aren't your favourite. and. It's a mistake that so many women make. They will wear a big baggy top, some leggings and a big baggy, baggy cardigan. It's just not the most flattering and it's very easy to put that outfit together and fe not feel your best. So if you want to wear a big bag baggy cardigan, that is absolutely fine. I love a big baggy cardigan. I actually have three of them in my wardrobe at the moment. They are perfect for winter, but mix it up. Don't team it with a plain white top. So many women fall into this trap of, you know, just reaching for basics, like a basic top or a basic legging and then throwing some knitwear over the top. And if you're wanting to make your outfits feel a little bit more stylish, a little bit more put together, a little bit more chic, then get rid of the basic tops and start mixing them up. So for example, have a more fitted top underneath, have a roll neck, it's going to look chic with that high neck. You know, have a little bit more of a fitted body, whether it's like a, a ribbed knitwear jumper or even a dress, you know, like a more fitted dress underneath. You've still got your cardigan to throw over the top to give you that kind of comfort blanket of having something over the top. I understand that. But if you put it with a more fitted top, maybe even a little skirt, some over knee boots, it's just gonna look so like feminine and make you feel so much better. If you're worried about getting cold, you can put a pair of tights on. If you don't wanna wear a skirt, go for a high neck, fitted ribbed top, and then pop some jeans on and some boots. Over knee boots with some jeans, but give yourself that flattering, more fitted pieces of clothing underneath and then put your big cozy cardigan over the top, slouch it off one shoulder and it will make you feel so much more put together. Another thing that I found myself falling down that trap of um, was just wearing like a chunky cardigan and I love a chunky cardigan. I'm talking about a shorter one now, not your long length cardigans, a shorter cardigan. There are so many about at the moment with like buttons at the top. I absolutely love them. So my tip for this would be go oversize, make it so it's that big, loose, chunky fit to it so you can slouch it off one shoulder and you can wear it over other things. I see so many people who will wear it with like a plain white t-shirt or a plain white basic top or just 
some kind of basic top underneath that comes up here and then your cardigan over the top. If you add in more of a v-neck or a slouchy neckline like this or even wear it over like a lace kind of camisole top with a bit of a bralette showing or just something that's going to show this area here, it's going to make your cardigan look a little bit more chic, look, look like you've put your bit more thought into your outfit. It's going to make you feel that little bit more feminine rather than giving you a big boxy shape of all covered with this high neck kind of basic top. Tuck the camisole in, have your cardigan slouchy over the top and team it with something like some jeans. If you don't want to wear skinny jeans, then go for some mum jeans or something that's just going to add that little bit of texture to your big chunky cardigan. Add a nice necklace, add some earrings and just judge it up a little bit. Outfit number seven. Now there is nothing wrong with this outfit. This is a very good outfit. Just a plain black knit and some boots, maybe some jeans, leggings. It's fine, but if you're wanting to be a little bit more daring with your outfits, then this is an outfit that you can easily switch up. And also, it gives you a way to add in some other pieces in your wardrobe that you loved from spring and summer that you can then add into your autumn winter outfits. Now, one of my favorite outfits to wear in autumn winter is a lovely knit, big knitted oversized chunky jumper over one of my spring summer dresses. Now, this dress that I'm wearing in the outfit today is even better because it's like a play suit smock dress so it has the shorts underneath so when you're talking about autumn it might be a little bit more windy this gives you extra coverage so that if it does blow slightly you are more covered so that is one that i really love getting out in autumn and winter teaming it with some boots teaming it with all those pieces like those big chunky jumpers in my wardrobe and it instantly just looks really cute really girly really stylish and now my secret hack which is one of my favorite fashion secrets that i absolutely love wearing for this time of year knitwear is not just for daytime. Some of my favorite evening outfits, whether it's date night or just going out for some Christmas cocktails, is always a nice piece of knitwear with a cute little skirt, a nice pair of heels. It just looks so chic, so classy, and just so put together. And it's one of those things that people forget about when it comes to evening wear. When you think of Christmas night out with the girls, you think you've got to put some little dress on, you've got to be freezing cold, you've got to feel like uncomfortable in this really fitted or revealing kind of outfits and it is just not the case if you find if you've got some knitwear in your wardrobe whether it's like a nice high neck really super soft little jumper um team it with a nice little skirt or pop it over a dress even Tip, put a little belt on with your dress so you have that nice little frilly kind of skirt underneath your favorite pair of heels a gorgeous clutch bag and you just look so so good that is my secret winter outfit that i always go to whenever i have a dilemma for a christmas or winter night out i wanted to share that one with you too so i really hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it has given you some ideas on how you can jazz up your knitwear for autumn winter if you have enjoyed this video make sure you do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and also don't forget to check out my autumn capsule wardrobe outfit video I tell you all the places I go to put together a really easy wearable neutral color palette to my wardrobe that I can wear all the way through autumn and winter year after year if you want to see another specific video on some styling problems that you are having let me know in the comment section below and I will make sure I will film some other videos like this soon and if you do want some extra outfit inspo on the daily, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. My handle is right here and I will see you very soon in another video.